Knock, knock, everybody. Derek Van Ness here, wealth strategist, investor, and life adventurer, and I got something awesome for you today. We're gonna answer the question of whether day trading is for you or not. Now, if you've ever thought about this, by the end of this video, you're gonna have the pros and the cons, in my opinion, on whether this is a great fit for you or whether you should do something else to get out there and live big, right? So, whatever that might be for you, we're gonna help you sort it out today. Uh, now, I just want to tell you, my first introduction to day trading was way back in the early 2000s. I had a good friend. He was very, very successful, uh, and he used to day trade all day and all night, right? Like, he'd get up each morning very early because we were on the West Coast in, in the Los Angeles area. He would day trade all day, be done by 3 o'clock, go to the ocean, go for a swim. It sounded like this really cool, glamorous life, and he made really good money. Um, and, and he was a cool guy and he had a big perspective on it and he did other things. He invested in real estate and did some other things that were quite successful. And so I thought, God, oh, maybe, maybe this is the answer. Maybe this is what I've been looking for is day trading, right? So the question is like, is that how it is for everybody? And is it the right fit for everybody? And of course, just like everything, the answer is it depends, right? Are you the kind of person who wants to do what day trading is? And, and day trading is really about being aware of either the market at large, economic plays that are happening, or maybe knowing a couple of really specific stocks super well. There's a bunch of different ways that you can do it and, and you can acquire any and all of those skills, right? You can go out, you can take classes, you can learn from mentors. I would not suggest that you just try and teach yourself because I'm just being honest with you, paying for some good professional education is going to cut years off of your learning curve and probably save you from a few face plants. So yeah, find if you're gonna, after this video, if you decide day trading is your thing, find some good education um, and make sure that you follow it because it will, it will just save you a ton of money. Now here's the deal with day trading and, and the reason that I didn't get into it. I'm a real estate investor. I do lots of other financial strategies. I've done marketing. I've had businesses that I sold art and, and construction and all kinds of things, right? But the bottom line of the whole thing is this. Fulfillment comes in your life, not from having more money. Money's great, and if you don't have money, it really sucks, right? But if you're gonna make money anyway, fulfillment comes and happiness comes from doing something that matters to you, doing work that matters to you. My, my big hang up, and the reason that I've seen a lot of people who have tried day trading opt out on it, and this was the case for me, was day trading's about trying to beat the system, right? You're like trying to, the, the stock market is set up so that it's a net, zero sum game, right? Meaning that for you to win, someone else has to lose. So what you're trying to do is outsmart the next guy when you're doing day trading in a lot of cases, um, guessing better than them, knowing information they don't know, getting a position that's going to allow you to, to ride a wave or whatever. Here's the problem, in my opinion, with day trading is there's no value created. All you're doing is gaming the system. Sure, you might make some money and that might be valuable to you, but here's the thing. Like, let's say you become successful at day trading, you don't make a difference in the world. You're not doing anything that is uh, intrinsically valuable. Now, you can justify it, and this is what I did. I was like, well, if I make a bunch of money doing this thing that is kind of empty and meaningless other than I make some money at it, and then I take that money and I go and invest it with charities or support causes or do things that I think matter in the world, that can work, but I found that for me it just wasn't enough right? I want to make people's lives better, whether that's products or services or, or mindset or helping them be better investors or smarter with their money. I get a lot of satisfaction. Sure, I make money and that's really important because if you don't make money, life is tough, right? But beyond making money where happiness and fulfillment comes from is doing something that you feel like makes the world a better place, something you're passionate about. And listen, it doesn't need to be meaningful to everybody, right? If you write comic books, and half the world doesn't care about comic books, but the other half thinks they're amazing, you're creating value for those people. You're doing something valuable. The big problem, in my opinion, with day trading is you're doing this thing and it's all for you and you can make money on it, but outside of that, nobody else benefits other than maybe your family, right? And I get it. If you have no other skill set in the world and you're a day trader, then okay, so be it. But here's the thing. If you're in a place where you're thinking about doing day trading, if you think it's easy money, I'm just telling you right now, that's not true, right? The smartest people in the world work for Wall Street, work for finance companies, and they're trying to optimize this. So if you jump into the day trading game, 
you're up against the smartest guys from MIT and Harvard and Yale and a lot of these Stanford, a lot of these kinds of schools who have teams of really smart people working for them, access to the best information, the best software, billions of dollars worth of leverage that they can use to create markets like what you saw the, you know, all the people do with GameStop. Hedge funds and large funds, they do that all the time. They have control of like as much money as all of those people put together. And so they're able to, to move and shift markets. As a day trader, you don't have any of that going for you, right? And that's who you're up against. So you're literally in probably the most competitive market in the world. The, the smartest people, the best inventions, there's so much money at stake that these people have spared no expense to be better and to beat you at this game. Now that doesn't mean you can't win at this game. I just don't want you to think it's easy money. It's not, there's no such thing, right? No matter what you do, what you get out is based on what you put in. But I will say this, there are some ponds that are much easier to fish in than others. And fishing in the Wall Street, try and beat the, beat the world at day trading game, you're fishing with the big dogs. You're playing against the professional people in that arena who are as well-funded as anyone in the world. So you've gotta be smart. You have to be passionate about it. You're gonna to have to put your heart and soul into it. And you have to do that with almost anything. But my argument is this, if you've gotta put your heart and soul into something, why not pick something that you actually care about? Something that makes a difference and make your money there. Now, if you wanna day trade on the side or put your money into the market anyway, I'm not a huge fan of the market for a lot of people because I feel like, especially if you're a business owner or you've got other things you can be doing with your money that you have control over, those would be a better place than just brain off, putting it into the market. But that's an opinion. But the reality is if you're gonna, if you're gonna put all this time and energy into learning a skill set and getting really good at something to the point where you can deal with the best people and compete with the best people in the world, why not do something you love? Why not do something that impacts people in a positive way? Why not do something that makes your heart sing? Because that is absolutely vital. I can tell you there's nothing, and I, I wanna repeat this, there is nothing more empty than making a bunch of money doing something that you know doesn't matter. I promise you, I know plenty of people have done it. I've coached a ton of people. For a while I was a, a sole purpose coach, which might sound all fluffy and whatever, but I'm telling you right now, tons of rich people. Uh, I worked with a lot of physicians and dentists and these types of people. Did you know that dentists have one of the highest substance abuse and su suicide rates? They make a ton of money, right? But they get burnt out and, they're not, and some of them don't have the fulfillment. The truth is dentists actually do something that matters. If you've ever had a toothache or you've ever had problems with your mouth, you know that what they do matters. But for a lot of them, it becomes transactional. It can lose its meaning. And it, when it does that and you have a lot of money, that's a recipe for disaster because you're unhappy and you have the ability to do a bunch of terrible things for yourself, whether that's gambling or drugs or whatever, you know, drink yourself into oblivion or, or whatever. Uh, it's bad stuff. So that's how important fulfillment is. So I want you to be really clear. If you take on day trading, you need to get really trained and you need to work with professionals. You also need to be passionate about it. Have a reason bigger than I just want to make money. If you just want to make money, there's a million ways easier. There's a million ways that are more fulfilling. And I would say that you're better spent somewhere else if you're just in it for the money. So find a reason. If you're going to do it, there needs to be a reason bigger than that. Otherwise, I believe you're gonna give up, you're gonna fall on your face. And listen, even with the best of businesses in the world, it's easy to have tough, tough times. And I'm gonna tell you a secret here in just one second that's absolutely vital to this. But before I do, if you find this valuable or you think this is insightful or helpful, please smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. You can just do that down below. And if you wanna see every video that we send out, which is a couple of week, just hit that bell down below it'll let you know and email you every time that we put something out. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and it really helps us to get the word out there. So if you like this, definitely check it out uh, and, and become a part of the group. We'd just love to welcome you to the family. So the important, the important point I was getting to is you can make money at anything, at absolutely anything. So don't let money be the reason you get into something because here's the secret that nobody tells you. No matter how good your business is, is you can look at Elon Musk, you can look at Bill Gates, you can look at Robert Kiyosaki, 
You can look at anybody who's super successful at what they do. There was a time somewhere in their journey where the money wasn't there. They had to stick with it because it was something that they wanted to exist in the world, something that they did for something more than just the money. I mean, Elon Musk famously tells his story about where they went down to a, basically a SpaceX launch and he was saying, if this launch doesn't work, we're done. His entire fortune was sunk into that. That's not something you do unless you're absolutely passionate about the difference it makes in the world and that this thing has to exist whether there's money or not. So Elon Musk did it. Obviously, the, the, uh, the rest of that story has been told and he's done tremendous things. But listen, he had to put it all on the line. I promise you, whether it's day trading or anything else out there, you're going to have to put it all on the line at some point. You're going to have to believe beyond your pocketbook for a period of time to get to that success that's on the other side. And if you're just in it for the money, I promise you, because I've been there, I promise you, you will quit. There will come a time where it's just not worth it. And if you don't have a bigger reason, something out here that really matters to you, you're just going to give up and you're going to have to start all over again and do a whole different thing. So my, my belief is, if you don't have an intrinsic reason to be a day trader, put that on the side, make that a hobby. You can do something, do something on the side for fun. Do not become a professional day trader unless your heart is absolutely in it, irrespective of the money. If it's something you would do, even if there was no money involved, maybe it's worth it. Then you can invest, then you can get passionate and you can go deep. But I'm just telling you right now, 99% of people I know, the main reason they care about the market is because their money's in there not because they care about what happens with the businesses and understanding all that and finding a way to create value with it, right? So if that's not the case for you, I would say spend your time figuring out what am I passionate about? What matters in the world? What are the problems that are worth solving? Like uh, Chamath Palihapitiya, who I think is incredible. You should look him up and check him out. Like he talked about how he started this business that, that works with diabetes and helping people who have diabetes because his father passed away from diabetes. Now here's the deal. It took him seven years and it was a massive financial and brain drain for him to do that. But he stuck with it because it's so important to him. He lost his father, right? This was a huge, huge deal and a driver for him. Those are the kinds of things that get you through the hard, hard stuff. And now that he persevered for those seven years and got through it, they have a business that's poised to be tremendously profitable because listen, diabetes is rampant all over the world, right? That's the difference. Don't invent the next, you know, or don't become the, the day trader who just skims it off the top and makes some money and then goes out and does silly things. I know a lot of people are trying to beat the system. I'm just here to tell you, having worked with thousands of business owners, happiness is not in beating the system. Happiness is making a difference, doing work that matters, getting passionate about something and putting your whole heart into it. So if you're thinking about being a day trader, make sure you check those boxes. If not, and you're not sure what to do, you can check out my next video, which is on how, uh, the one we just did recently on how do you figure out the right investments for you? How do you figure out where you should be putting your money? I think you'll find that one tremendously valuable and we'll see you on that video next. Thanks.